Hello, rock stars. Okay, so After Effects is crashing on you. Uh, this was happening to me, not on this system, uh, but on another one, which is my most powerful system. So it was just driving me crazy. Um, so I wanted to pass on this tip uh, that may save others uh, the grief I had until I figured it out. So sometimes if you have, let's say, a laptop and you're editing 4K video, your laptop can't handle it anymore. Um, and you're going to have some issues and After Effects crashes on you, which can be very stressful. Um, so this is what I did. Um, so most times, let's click here. Um, if you want to render this, this is two of my students. Uh, we shot in front of a green screen. And uh, so I want out. I want to make a video file. Where do I go? I go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And normally, uh, you set all your settings in here. Uh, your output output here, and then you hit render. But the problem was it was crashing over and over and over. And I was using two, uh, 2017 Adobe After Effects. I updated to the 2018 version, still crashing. Uh, now again, I was using lots of 4K layers, and I guess I pushed my system to the max, and it was crashing over and over and over. And so what I did, and I've done this in Premiere Pro before, um, but usually this works no problem. Uh, so this is what you do. Here's the solution. Um, just go up to Composition, go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. So basically what we're doing is taking this project out of After Effects hands and putting it into the Media Encoder software so it's separate. So if After Effects crashes on us, we're still good. It's rendering in a different program. So let's go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder. Now it's loading up down there. It's part of your Adobe Creative Suite software that you can download. And you can do this in Premiere Pro as well, which is where I've used it. And uh, I hadn't realized you could do it in After Effects as well. I just, you know, why would I know that if, I, if everything works perfectly? Okay, so I have, um, okay, so I've already loaded up a project. So let's get rid of the one that I had before, just before I recorded. So this is what we, this is what happens here. So what we want to do is click match source, and we're going to tell Media Encoder uh, what quality we want the video to be rendered at. So now we are it's connecting to After Effects and um, figuring out the project and how it's going to render it. So let's go to uh, let's say we don't want to compress this. Uh, we can go to do, 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 do. actually let's stick with H.264. Um, let's go to video. Matt, it's at 1920 by 1080, which is HD. We'll go to match source. It's all good. Uh, everything's fine. Maybe click uh, maximum render quality. Uh, jack our, our rate up here to maybe 30. And maybe to go two pass. And we'll pick maybe our desktop here. Um, okay, it made a separate folder that's going to store this into, but I'll say bar scene and save and hit OK. And now. It's all set, ready to go. Go up to the play button up here, top right hand corner, click play. And now it's out of After Effects hands and you can see it rendering down here at the bottom. So, which is great because my After Effects copy is crashing like crazy on my big powerful system for some reason, which I'll have to figure out. Uh, but this bypassed After Effects, I could render out the project. I'm very happy now until I solve the problem with my big computer. Anyways, I hope this helps someone. I wanted to pass this on before uh, I move on to something else because when I share videos like this, a lot of times I'm solving people's problems and uh, I just want to pay this forward and help someone out. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys soon. Good luck with your projects. Cheers.